dropped the game so far. Uh, not in, dropped in. Yeah. Wow. It's been two on everyone. Damn. But One now it looks flank. like looks like Charlie has something to say about that. Already putting him off stage. And getting that ledge trap and the tech chase. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. Larry was not really getting this aggressive in uh, this in his face, mm -hmm. but Charlie's like, Yo, you want to set up? Good luck. I'm just gonna completely pressure you and not let you press any of your specials. Yeah. Oh, get that, get that shine out. Yeah, he got blown up on that. But yeah, I think uh, this is exactly what um, Larry needed to do. Oh, oh wow! Wow, he exploded. He ground bounced and died off the top. Mm -hmm. That was crazy, and that was actually completely untackled, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just in general, the the Belmonts, by nature, are setup characters. So yeah. if you don't give them the time to set up, then it just makes it difficult. Then they get their damage off the of DPS mainly, and the, rather than like their projectiles and uh, their zoning capabilities. So yeah, they basically have to run a certain distance so they can start throwing things in front of them. But then Wolf can cover that distance like really fast. Okay. It's a forest smash out. It's not a tipper, so he's gonna have a little bit easier time living here. Charlie waits out the holy water at the ledge, rolls into the up tilt, no tipper again, so he's gonna live. Okay. Wow, DI is up out of it, so he he's doesn't get dead. forest smash. No, oh, not quite. Never mind. Fourth, though. Okay. Charlie's like perfectly fine with staying at the ledge versus all these options because he's not dropping the stock for it. Yeah. He's he's playing very differently from Aladdin too. He's very patient when. Nitro's trying to elicit pressure. Like, he'll go for forward tilt, then he'll go for jump fair. And rather than just, like, trying to run in aggressively and then get hit by another forward tilt, he waits and shield even more so than, uh, than his other opponents have. So I think that next level of patience is really what's key so far in this matchup so far. Oh, yeah, Charlie playing really well, too. I like the parry on the forward air as well. Yep, he's fine with just taking that tiny tick of the Holy Fire as long as he waits out the big damage. Oh, he missed opportunity to go for like an episode there to sort it yeah. out, but catch the pivot one. Mm -hmm. Finally going to be able to get it. I think he's just, I think the way that Charlie's be playing defensively, he's not expecting his opponent to get hit by Holy Water anyway, so he's trying to go look for different options afterwards. And then that trips him up even more, so. This is one of those things where like, you, your opponent's playing so well, it's like, oh, I'm trying to find a mix-up on top of a mix-up. Yeah. But then the original one would have worked fine anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. Charlie's trying to stay in his face, but gets the up B out in time. Great parry. He's going to throw him off. Let's see if he can set up here at the ledge. Does get the Holy Fighter to work in the way he wants, but there's the episode again, keeping him out. Good burst option with that dash attack. Now, how is he going to get stock off? Another dash attack. Just chasing him when he tries to retreat to center stage. Really good stuff for Charlie right now. Mm -hmm. If it's on whiff, then usually a character Ooh. like Wolf can catch that. Wow, run up up smash. That does it. Yeah, caught the jump. And uh, that up smash scoops really well, so if you just... If you're just close enough to him when you're trying to like, get some space, he can definitely catch you in the air. Mm -hmm. right. How'd you get back? So, Charlie's playing so smart around the ledge traps. He's not oh, ledge getting up uh, preemptively. So yeah. He's avoiding a lot of the potential threat of the holy water. Mm -hmm. Great to hold up there. Back thing. Yeah, just the damage output. And then he, then he, as soon as he opens up Nitro, oh, then he gets a lot of damage off of it too. I mean, that doesn't really matter that SD because he already got Nitro to 100%. And now he's got another opportunity to get something at the ledge like that, and it's gonna be still fine. It's a ledge option, nice. yes! Scoops him up the other side, and he gets the up smash. Good call on the roll. Mm -hmm. It looks like, it's like the same as uh, like Rob's roll, or sorry, Rob's uh, up smash, where the bottom part scoops you up into like, the sweet spot. Yep, it's been like that. <laughs> yeah. I think in general, just the, the key factor is that the ledge trap game that Nitro has been using against his opponents that have been working is not working this time around because Charlie has historically been a little bit more of a patient player. Yeah. So he knows that in these pressure situations, he can keep his cool, and then he knows that, okay, he's going to throw out like three these three things, and yeah. as long as I shield those three things, then he's going to be lost and yeah. like down till away, and then I'm yeah. just going to catch him, you know? And then I can actually get you know, safe to center stage without getting hit by anything. Mm -hmm. So that's the first game Nitro's was dropped today. To yes. <laughs> yeah, in winner's finals, mind you. But, I mean, we're going to an even larger stage. I feel like this is a good choice. It gives uh, Richter a little bit more breathing room, especially yeah. with the way that Charlie's been kind of handling him on that uh, stage. Pokemon Stadium 2 is pretty wide in itself, but, I mean, it can go even wider with this stage. 
Yeah, I also like this uh, stage for Richter's recovery since he can go to the top, the, the two platforms on the side instead mm -hmm. of just having to uh, pretty much default to going to the ledge. Just has a, le a recovery mix up in that factor as well. But uh, let's see what he can do here. Has a decent percent lead against Charlie. Yeah, slowly creeping away. Yeah, there okay. we go. Finally going to be able to put in an edge guard situation. Yeah. yeah. That's one of the situations where Wolf is a little bit hesitant to go down that deep because he can get reversal pretty easily, so. Oh, he caught the jump. Almost getting the axe to snipe correctly, but there's... Oh, no, he didn't get the hit he wanted, but the backer sends him off stage. Another opportunity here. Oh. He has to jump over the cross, but he actually gets an opportunity here. Oh, my goodness. Chased him with the Wolf Flash. Thought he was safe for cheating with that down tilt, but that Wolf Flash range is crazy strong. Or crazy far, and getting the sweet spot is super powerful. Yeah, great stuff from Charlie. I just uh, really like that he goes for that wolf flash so much. Mm -hmm. Definitely knows the utility of his moves in specific matchups as well, rather than just the setups that he's been learning as well. Yeah. How's he get back? Okay, go for the fourth throw. Not enough. Oh, okay. Man, Axe <laughs> just barely catching that up B in time. Mm hmm. Good stuff for Nitro only taking 16%. Mm -hmm. That was really good positioning to put the axe in a place where it would cover like a little bit downward underneath too, so he can catch the wolf fire. Oh. Do I agree with this? Okay, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was got so scared. I thought he was gonna get down it or something. I would have accepted a runoff Nair as well, but uh, you know he wants a spike and then he wants a spike. And what I, man's gotta try and get it. And now all of a sudden it's Nitro that's trying to figure oh. out how to commit his way in. Got a little bit of a combo there with that platform uh, combo. That was so smart from Charlie, using the neutral get up invincibility to go through the holy water. Mm -hmm. I think he just waits for it to be almost done and then he uses his invincibility frames from neutral get up to go through it. But that back air, catching the jump, Nitro with the first uh, stock lead in the game so far. Let's see if he can build up on it. Yeah, he's been looking for that like all set so far. He's finally able to find it, but Charlie not too far behind. What's the option gonna be? Yeah. Oh, got the ledge jump. Wow. jump. Yeah. He uses ledge jump and he got hit by the laser just for good measure. Charlie's mm -hmm. just not letting him get any type of lead whatsoever, keeping it at 0-0 zero, zero until he gets this stock. Great combos here, keeping him in tech chase. Yeah, 47% really stuff. good stuff from Charlie right now. I like how he reads the spot dodges too. When he knows something's not true, then he just waits out a defensive option that his opponent's smashing first and then goes in with an extra follow-up. So what's something that just should be just a 40% combo actually ends up being like an 80% combo. Yeah, that's the power of Wolf, one of the better tech chase characters in the game. I see get in. Yeah, just catches him being in shield. No tech chase with that down smash. The right idea, not quite executed properly. But still, the, the lead is just running away from Nitro. Okay, gets the new this time. Try to get an extension with the cross. Great shine from Charlie. He just knows when that axe is coming. He doesn't let him get away with it. And nice air follow up into the up smash, waiting out his uh, look at his air dodge too. He knew it like look at he knew that the nair wouldn't send the right trajectory to go for a down smash. And he used up smash instead just because he saw where he was going when you di'd. Mm -hmm. I think he just knew exactly that. <laughs> or I don't know. It just feels like Nitro's. This is the biggest challenge that Nitro has faced all day. <laughs> yeah, it says a lot it's from someone that beat Larry. Yeah. So, we'll see how this goes. Still sticking with the Richter. He still he has a Sonic available, too. Yeah, I, I've been having seen, I've been seeing like Nitro go less and less Sonic as time goes on, which I don't blame. You know, Sonic got hit pretty hard in this game when the nerfs. Specifically doing the, uh, due to that up air. They didn't touch him in this last patch either, so... No, it's, they, it was so tragic. Like, they did so many changes where, like, fixing multi-hits, and then they just left Sonic's multi-hit up air alone, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually. Right, anyway, so I appreciate the, the music counter pick here, mm -hmm. and a stage counter pick <laughs> yep. from uh, Nitro. Well, we'll just have to see. Nitro I mean, already looking more like his old self, being yeah. able to get these ledge traps, working out much better at this time. Oh. Nice! Wow, caught the landing with the down smash. This is really good for him, only taking 28%. That's big stuff against Kredalark Wolf. Oh, man. Oh, that's a horrible angle to be sent at. Oh, my goodness. I think he's dead. He can't come back. He's dead. He just got raw down smashed. Died at such an early percent. That's yeah. 
struggle of Richter's recovery. He's just too far away to even make it back. And that was unfortunate because he actually had a really good lead. But uh, he hasn't gotten hit yet. He's still doing a really good percent. But let's see if Charlie can make something happen here. Mm -hmm. He's finally getting the setup as much as he wants. I think this, is, this is exactly what uh, Nitro was trying to play earlier, but Charlie was pressuring him a lot. Oh my Ooh, goodness. Oh man. He's really trying to find these edge guards. Not quite. Yeah, Charlie's trying to just like. You know, you do all this percent to me, but I'm going to get that one move to just take your stock really early. Mm -hmm. Got it with the down smash. Tried to get it with the down air there. Took a situation? Yes, using the laser to cover his landing. Very smart stuff. Okay. Down smash oh, again! No. They covered the neutral get up! I can't believe it! He that was a perfect spacing. Yeah, he puts himself in a position where Nitro's not 100% sure that the get up attack range is going to be enough, and then he gets blown up with the with the one-frame vulnerability on the neutral get up. Very smart stuff and great timing from Charlie as well. Yeah, that was clean. It just completely uh, took that lead back from Nitro. And we've already seen how well Charlie's been playing with the lead. Good guy yeah, again to getting out of the holy water, man. Every time, it looks like you can get him at the ledge. Yeah, he just follow up again. Fine. DP, still not enough to do it. Okay, pins him at the ledge again. Okay. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Finally finds the holy water he was looking for. And again, reading another spot dodge. I think Charlie's one of the best at punishing doses from, from what I've seen so far. Back to his mouse stage. He's just going to wait at neutral get-up range. Nice, <laughs> catching the jump. That time he jumped. No more neutral get-ups. He's a little bit too scared, but this is a really bad angle to be sent in. He's still got his jump, though, so he's fine. Not looking too promising for Nitro, though. Nice, catches the up tilt, and that'll do it. Charlie, 3-0 in winner's side grand finals. Clean stuff with the Wolf. Really yeah, showing everyone how to deal with that matchup. Very nice stuff. I think Charlie...